Hey guys, um, let's real talk for a second. You ever wanted to play fighting games, but they're just a little too complex? I've definitely felt this in the past. Like, a game will look super interesting, but you jump into it and there's, there's so many characters and you have all these special moves and, and motion inputs and, you know, people are constantly doing things that don't make any sense to you and you really have no clue what's going on. There's all these layers of complexity that you have to get through before you feel like you can really understand the fighting game. Well, I want you to throw all that shit out the door right now. This is Footsies, a fighting game with one button no motion inputs, and a world of possibilities. But before I can really explain what makes this game special, I need to explain to you what footsies are. And footsies is not the thing that like you do with a person under the table, that, that, that's gross and we're not talking about that. Footsies is a concept in fighting games. Anytime that you play any fighting game, no matter what, you're going to be in a moment where both players are sort of playing with each other's space in this middle ground. This is called footsies. When two players are engaged in footsies, they're moving in and out of each other's ranges and trying to land a hit on one another. There's a whole lot of stuff on top of this, but at the end of the day, this is the basic strategy of any fighting game. And this game focuses on that aspect exclusively, and it strips out everything else. First of all, Footsies only has one attack button. If you stand still and hold attack, you get this long kick. And if you're moving in either direction, you get this little knee. If your first hit actually lands, you need to be able to press the button again to do your second hit and win, like this. But if the person blocks it, you don't want to press that second attack because then you'll be wide open to get hit yourself, like this. We call this a hit confirm in fighting games. You're trying to see if your hit lands or is blocked and then respond to it. Other than attacking, really the only other thing you can do is move forward and backwards. You wanna move forward in order to get into a range where you can hit somebody, and you wanna move backwards to block their attacks. In this game, you can also only block three attacks before blocking doesn't work anymore. After that, you'll get guard broken, and any attack can kill you. And finally, if you want to do that second hit of your combo, just raw out in the open, then you can hold down the button and then release it. If you hold down the button and you're moving, you'll get a Shoryuken or a Dragon Punch from Street Fighter. And that's pretty much it. Like, the controls and what you can do in the game don't really get any more complicated than that. But once you know how to play footsies the game, now you need to understand how to play footsies the concept. You need to understand how to play footsies as in the general fighting game idea. To understand footsies, the most important thing to keep in mind is that you're basically playing a rock, paper, scissors mind game with your opponent. The most basic thing that you can do in a fighting game is simply walk up to someone and hit them. However, if you only do this every single time you play, you're really only using one out of three potential options. If you wanna stop somebody from just walking up and hitting you like this, you need to throw out an attack that covers the space in front of you and prevents them from moving forward. If the person walks into this space, they will get hit. You are using your long moves to keep the person out so that they can't just walk up and hit you. So now, let's say that someone is always stuffing your approach and, and you feel like you can't get in or they'll hit you. How do you beat this? I mean, there, there really doesn't seem like any way you can get in if the person is just constantly reacting to you moving forward into their space. Well, what you can do is walk into your opponent's striking range where they will want to stop you from moving forward and then walk out of it. If they try to throw an attack to stop you from moving in, you will be safely out of the way. You can then hit them while their move is still taking time to recover. This is called a whiff punish. The opponent whiffed their move, and you are punishing them for it. Once you know what you're looking for, and once you're a little bit practiced, you can just watch to see what your opponent does when you approach and then respond accordingly. So let's say that someone is always, you know, like waiting for you to attack first 
and then responding like that. How do you beat this playstyle? It really feels like you can't do anything because this person is always just waiting for you to make the first move and then punishing you for making a mistake. What you need to understand is that by forcing this person to play reactively, where, where they react to what you do, they can really only focus on so much. And because they're so focused on looking for this little kick and punishing you for it, you can just walk up and hit them. Or you can hit them with a raw special move. This thing that the opponent was looking for, this little kick, never actually comes, so other things will take them off guard. They spent so much mental energy looking for this little kick that they couldn't see the obvious. And of course, we've circled back around to Rock, where you just move forward and hit somebody. When two players are engaged in footsies, they're constantly rotating between these options, trying to see how the other person chooses to play, and then adapting in order to counter it. Now, some people might see this game and think it's just too simple. They might say, what could I possibly learn from playing such a simple game like this? Because it's not like it's a real fighting game. Well, if you strip away all the extra flourish and spectacle from fighting games, this is the baseline for what both players are doing underneath all of that. Both of the players are picking options that they hope will beat what the other person is doing and then rotating those options. If one option doesn't work or the other player is doing something that's beating you, then you need to adapt to that and change your strategy. It's very important to realize that this is what fighting games are. And this game can be just as interesting and dynamic as any other game, and it can teach you so much. It's a fantastic way to learn the most fundamental aspects of a fighting game. And the things that you learn in Footsies will carry over into every other fighting game that you will ever play. So, Get out there and, and play some footsies. This game is $3.99 on Steam and is just a ton of fun. It also has an arcade mode, a versus mode, a training mode, and a lot of other cool options to get you started. So at the end of the day, this really is the one button fighting game that anyone can play. And that's extremely exciting for me. I wanna show this game to so many people and show them how cool and interesting fighting games can be. And I hope that you get that experience from footsies. All right, that's all for today. See you next time.